This video is if you are doing an injection with a needle, syringe, and a vial because some of you have compounded semaglutide or you're taking peptides, which is what this is, is peptides. But um, it's different from using a pen or an auto injector. So again, you want to inspect your medicine, make sure it looks clear and it's the right medicine. This is and get your alcohol pads. So you need two alcohol pads for this. Because the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe the top of the uh, vial and put it back down, let it dry, throw that alcohol pad on the ground or in the trash can. <laughs> Um, and my hands are already clean. I cleaned them prior to this. I put my hair back so I wouldn't touch my hair. Cause I don't want to touch the needle and the vial a whole lot. So the next thing you're going to do is prepare your skin, which I have a whole video about that, but I'm going to use an alcohol pad and I'm just going to do the big circle on this side of my abdomen. I feel like I'm going to skip. Okay. Inspect, it looks good. I'm gonna leave that up so it can dry. Your syringe, you're gonna get various sizes or needles. It has a cap on the needle, a cap on the plunger. Take that off first. You wanna season or prime the needle, whatever. Basically, you just wanna loosen it up. So I just do that a couple times. Now, you're gonna take off. You got a needle here, an open needle, and you're gonna take your vial, put it upside down. Don't let your finger touch uh, the vial, the medicine, and don't let your finger touch the needle. It's just for sanitary reasons. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this close. You're gonna put the needle in like that. And since you've primed the needle, you're gonna suck in what you need. I need to the point two. and take it out. I'm actually gonna waste that. The other thing you can do is if it's new medicine or a new syringe is you can actually pull up some air first. Again, put it into the vial and not a bunch of air, just a little bit of air. If you inject too much air, you can um, put too much air in the vial and the vial will bust. And if you've never seen that happen, it's crazy. So just a tiny little bit of air, but that can help propel the medicine back into the syringe and it comes out easier. You don't have to do that. It's just like if you're having difficulty getting like the last little bit out of your vial or something like that, then you can do that. So I pulled the medicine to the point two and, um, and you can see there's no bubbles in my syringe and it looks good. But let's say you're not a seasoned Wasty, but it, this is old medicine, so I'm, I'm, I feel okay wasting it. So let's see, let's see, like I get some air in there. So let's say there's like air bubbles in there, and you're like, oh no, I don't want to inject air into my body, even though it won't hurt you if it's in your. So you can tap. Then you can inject out the air. The other thing you can do, if it's just a tiny bubble of air, you can kind of see, so there's the air at the top there. Sorry. If you get the air, with the needle down, if you get the air to the plunger, that last little bit of air will propel the rest of your medicine in, and then um, it won't hurt you as long as you're uh, injecting into your fat. And so, but if you turn it upside down, the air will come to the top and that won't do you any good. So if you inject, again, the medicine here's first at the bottom, and then the air is at the top, and it actually helps you make sure you get all your medicine in. And so that's just, that's kind of a pro tip. That's more when you're used to it. But for now, 
going to waste that one more time. We're going to show you one more time. So remember, prime your new syringe so it sucks that medicine up easier. Gently push in the needle. Suck up that medicine to whatever number you're supposed to go to. Mine's the 20. The injection. Okay. So I know this whole section's clean. This one, it is easier to pinch because these needles are bigger. Look, that sucker's good size. And you're gonna go straight in, not at an angle, straight and perpendicular. You're in, you're gonna just do a steady, steady injection. Take it out, you're done. That's it. I hope that wasn't too long. And I hope it was helpful. <laughs>